Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com. Don't forget to subscribe to this podcast and share it with a friend. You can also contact us with ideas for topics that you would like us to cover. I'll include a link to get in contact with us in the show notes. There's a new technology that is changing the landscape of fintech and also privacy and data security. That technology is blockchain. Nasdaq.com recently came out with an article about the big four and blockchain. Nasdaq.com recently came out with an article about the big four and blockchain. I think they just copied our article about the big four and blockchain, but whatever. Copycatting is a form of flattery. I'll include a link to our past article about this in the show notes. Now, blockchain is especially relevant now with the price of Bitcoin exceeding $4,000. I want to talk about the applications of blockchain in accounting, not just the big four and the blockchain. And I don't think everyone understands how the blockchain can be utilized in accounting. I don't even think the big four fully understands right now because it is so complicated. Okay, so what is blockchain? Blockchain is a distributed database and a group of controls that store and share important information. It is decentralized information. And that is why it is going to transform the world. When many people think of blockchains, they think of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is not a blockchain. It is a cryptocurrency that supports a blockchain. To help conceptualize blockchain, I'll give you a quick example of a blockchain application. Now, one of the applications of blockchain that everyone talks about is a smart contract. For example, people talk about the titles of property, such as houses, being maintained on the blockchain. Wouldn't it be nice to have the total ownership history of a house maintained on a ledger versus having to rely on title lawyers. So that's how you have to think of it. It has the capabilities of maintaining the history of important transactions with the added feature of privacy and security because it is decentralized and secured with cryptography. If everything is decentralized, it makes it harder for hackers to take down information all at once. Now, why do accountants care about blockchains? Accountants care about blockchains because clients would value having their data decentralized so that no one event could compromise their system. Additionally, blockchains could wipe out auditing completely, in theory. If everyone is constantly verifying that data, why would you need an accountant? For example, most people need financial statements for regulatory approval or to satisfy needs of shareholders. What if those regulators or shareholders were on your blockchain? They could see all the transactions and verify that they are okay. And as far as financial statements go, I still think people will still need summary financial statements that will be supported by a ledger that is on the blockchain and then that will have to be audited. Deloitte has already conducted an audit of a blockchain, but who knows what that really means since there are no standards on how to audit a blockchain. I do think auditors will still be auditing even after the implementation of blockchain. Okay, so what are some ways that blockchain can be used in the accounting and tax industry? I think that taxing agencies will move to the blockchain one day. I think state taxing agencies in the United States will be some of the first to adopt because they are greedy. States will likely mandate that taxpayers join their blockchain in order to transact business in their state. Why do I believe this? I believe this because states will be able to assess whether taxes have been paid properly instantaneously if they can see all the transactions on the blockchain at once. They wouldn't have to wait for companies to fill out tax returns or tax forms. The blockchain would essentially be one giant tax form. I believe this is especially true when it comes to simple taxes like sales tax, VAT, premium tax, and excise tax. I do think the IRS and other global taxing agencies will also adopt the blockchain because it reduces the amount of compliance. The big four should be thinking about this and taking this idea to government agencies today as a consulting idea. They could help implement blockchains for taxing authority. Those projects would be huge revenue wins in the tens of millions of dollars for the big four. Okay, so how would blockchain actually work in accounting transactions? So it's kind of weird and a logistical nightmare for accounting because the notion of a blockchain means it's a decentralized network. This means that a company would have to allow other agents onto their network to see and verify all of their financial transactions. Well, what company would allow that? Many people think this can be accomplished through a consortium or a private network. Companies would not want their competitors and other companies to see their information. For example, who would Facebook have on their network? GE, IBM, Snapchat? Would they trust those companies to see their information? In order to form a consortium, you'd have to know who you are forming it with, unless the big four formed blind consortiums for these companies, which is another huge service offering that the big four could provide. Many companies are forming consortiums in other areas of business for a blockchain, so maybe there will be some accounting departments that team up 
and build an accounting ledger blockchain soon. What does it take to audit a blockchain? In order for an accounting firm to audit a blockchain, they'd need to be a member of a blockchain and have access to all the data on that blockchain. And if they weren't a member of the blockchain, they need somebody's key to decode the cryptography. They'd also likely need some kind of summary ledger if they were trying to audit a financial ledger. And some companies have thousands of transactions a year. An audit firm couldn't spend all year verifying that data. They'd have to select a few blocks to audit, similar to what they do now with materiality and testing. Another way for accountants and the big four to get involved in blockchain is to volunteer to become a node on a blockchain network. The companies that are adopting or will adopt blockchain don't trust the networks and nodes attached to large scale solutions like Ethereum. So they set up private blockchains. The problem is you need a number of nodes to keep the network safe, but who can large companies trust? That is where CPAs and the big four comes in and offers to be nodes for companies in any of their blockchain networks whether they be related to smart contracts or accounting blockchains. CPAs have brands of protecting client information and having access to important data and then protecting that important data. This gives them an edge against other competitors in the marketplace. And this can be a recurring service as well. This is where accountants and the big four can really make a killing. They can offer their trustworthiness and their ability to audit to be members of blockchain networks and blockchain consortiums. Well, those are some of my ideas off the top of my head. And I'm sure we will be doing many more podcasts on blockchains and accounting. So make sure to subscribe to this podcast and share it with a friend. Also make sure to visit big 4 and check the show notes for relevant links. Thanks for listening.